Hello everybody and welcome to another video. As you can see from the title, this is my June reading wrap up. This month was actually a really good reading month for me, so that's great. I read nine books, but half of that was audiobooks. I'm not going to be showing all of the books in hand because obviously some of them were audiobooks and one of them I don't have with me right now. I lent it to a friend before I filmed in this video. I think I will like put up photos of each book here just so you can see the covers I have. So the first book I read in the month of June was a reread and it was Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Now I don't think I spoke about this before but I love this book like so much. <laughs> It is one of my favourite books. Like, it's definitely in my top 20. Maybe not the top 10, but it is in the top 20. I'm pretty sure I gave it 4 or 5 stars on Goodreads when I first read it. I think I read it in 2014. I think that's when it came out. So um, I read it near the end of 2014 the first time. And obviously I reread it this month. And again, I loved it just as much as the first time I read it. It was just so good. Now I know there's a lot of like controversy about it being ghost written and stuff. But... That doesn't really bother me, don't really care, it's just a really good book. So moving on to the second book, I actually read Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg. Now this one we know is definitely written by Zoe, that's fine, if it was ghost written, we wouldn't really care. So I handle, my door is fine, my window is open, I don't want to shut Seriously, you're killing me here. If it's not people outside screaming, it's my door banging. So I loved Girl Online on tour just as much as I loved the first book, maybe even a little bit more. What made me read this book last month was the fact that she mentioned that a third book was being written and it was in the works and that's actually coming out November this year and I'm really excited. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't, I'm just so excited. I think I gave it five stars four or five stars on Goodreads. I felt so much emotion, I actually cried while reading the second book, so that tells you anything. Then again, I'm probably just a big baby and no one else probably cried, so. But I really thoroughly enjoyed it and I definitely think that people should give this series a read. The third book I read, well, I didn't read it fully, but I think it still counts. I finished Four by Veronica Roth. I started this, I can't remember, I think it was April, around April, May time and it was getting so frustrating for me to read it because it wasn't giving me anything new and I was just finding it quite boring. I liked it but because I already know a lot of the stuff that was already in it, I didn't find it as interesting as I had hoped I would. But I managed to finish it, I only had like 100 pages left when I left it and I think I gave it 3 stars, mostly because I didn't find it as interesting as I had hoped. It's still a pretty good read if you really want to know some things from Four's point of view instead of Triss's. Definitely read it if you like the Divergent series, if you haven't read it yet. A lot of people probably already have, I'm probably really really late to that, but yeah. I just personally didn't enjoy it as much as I had hoped and, and as much as other people have. So which is kind of a bummer since the Divergent Trilogy is like my favourite series <laughs> ever. Now if you are friends with me on Goodreads or follow me on Goodreads then you already know that the next five books I read, I listened to as audiobooks. You already know what these five books are and they're all by the same author. That author is R.L. Stein. if that's how you say it. I listened to A Shocker on Shock Street, Welcome to the Dead House, Welcome to Camp Nightmare, A Night in Terror Tower, and Attack of the Mutant. I didn't know this until I listened to the first one, which was A Shocker on Shock Street. I was get so confused while listening to it. You probably already know this, but I had no idea because I'd only ever read one book and it didn't turn out how these ones turned out. And basically, the story starts off pretty normal and then it has a giant plot twist at the end. I'm pretty sure I gave every single one of those books five stars because of the plot twists. They were all freaking epic and if you haven't read or listened to any of his stories then I highly recommend doing so. They are absolutely amazing. I will leave my favourite two in the description box below where I listen to them. 
they're like about an hour long. The final book I read in June made me cry like a baby. I physically ugly cried. I don't have a photo to prove this like everybody else does because I don't like taking a photo of myself when I'm sad or when I cry. So the final book I read in June was Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. If I'm pronouncing that right, this book made me emotional. I give it five stars on Goodreads. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> is that, that's not how this video is supposed to go. Okay, so the book is about, if you don't already know, it's about uh, a girl named Louisa who loses her job and then she goes to job centre to get a new job and there's one that comes up and it's six months working for this family who wants to change their suicidal son's mind about suicide kind of thing and he is a quadriplegic he can't move anything too much he can move his hands and arms like the tiniest amount but he is paralyzed from the chest down and he can't do things for himself obviously and it is about Louisa Lou trying to change his mind without changing his mind if that makes sense like without telling him to change his mind that's basically the story and I definitely cried from chapter 23 until the end I couldn't stop crying and I, I finished the book with tears a lot of them I haven't picked up a book since I finished this book like the 28th of June <laughs> It's been a good couple of days and I haven't picked up another book since, so I'm in a place where I don't want to forget what I just read. <laughs> it's making me emotional. Oh, but I do highly recommend everyone read it. I mean, I loved it so much and I don't know, I loved it from the moment I picked it up. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. The audiobooks I said I'd link in the description box below, I will link. All my links are in the description box below, so follow me on all my social media. Let me know in the comments below which book you read that was your favourite in June, because I'd love to know. Um, let me know if you've read or listened to any of the books I mentioned, because I would love to talk to someone about them. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I bring out new videos pretty much every week. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye guys. My childhood nickname was Millie Moo, which is actually very similar to Markiplier's nickname, Markie Moo.